So this is my video of my Pelican Predator build, I guess you can call it. We'll start with the trailer. This trailer was originally a jet ski trailer and it was in pretty rough shape. I rattle canned it, sand it, rattle canned it, uh, put new bunk risers on it, put new bunks on it, covered the bunks, put the side bunks on it, put new wheels and tires on it. These bunks are Amazon, most of the stuff's just off of Amazon, they just bolt on. That's mainly just to keep it from wanting to come off the trailer. It had some plastic reflectors on there. I just put that on there. One thing I still need to do is I need to raise that. Probably about another two inches. So it'll sit on there. The issue is why the boat's so high. Because the boat was wanting to sit on the fenders. But I put this dolly on the front. With the new chain. It's got the lock. New wiring. With new lights. And they're waterproof lights, LEDs. And the other side. That's the trailer. So my dad bought two jet skis last year. And they both came on single trailers. So he bought a double trailer for it and gave me this one. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, so I was able to get it for free, pretty much. So all the labor I put into it is what the trailer is worth to me. You know what I mean? I mean, it's worth a lot more than that to me, but that's all I got in it. So the boat, Pelican Predator. Got a trolley motor on the front, Min Minn Kota. 30. Got a Mariner 4 horse on the back, tiller, short shaft. I took these. These are woodwork planers or something used in woodwork, but they're also good for kayak rails and stuff, and that's what I had them for on my old boat. On well, my old boat, I took them off, cut them in half so I can mount my lights on them. I'm going to replace this. I broke it a long time ago. Let me show you this one. This is what it's supposed to look like. So that they'll match. One's a little bit higher. But I wired it up with a switch in the back. So all you gotta do is hit the switch, bam. And I got them pointed down some so that they'll point into the, the water when you're in the water. I'm gonna loosen them up a little bit so that way I can move them. So that, you know, if I wanna get up there and move it and so they're facing forward. I can do so. I also got the Atwoods clamp on nav light because I didn't want to do too much wiring on this boat because I didn't want I wanted to drill as minimal holes as possible. So and I did use 5200 on all these holes when I screwed them in. Here's the Minn Kota. It's a Endura 30. Works good. Works like it should. Uh, my anchor and stuff. Got the battery in here. With a, I had to replace one of the fuses because when I got it, it didn't have. Uh, it was missing one. So, yep. There's the battery. This is what I just got done installing. So I got the stern saver on the back. For y'all that know, that have these boats, there's a little screw right here that protrudes. So what I did is I drilled into that block just a little bit so it'd sit flush. It still doesn't sit flush, but it sits a lot better. Then I put the transducer on here. And I used these stickies because I didn't want to dr drill into this thing anymore than I had to. Kind of looks a little gaudy, but it works. And this is also another rail mount with some 5200. So all that play is not in the boat. That's in this mechanism right here. But this is pretty sturdy and it, it does move, but the whole boat flexes, you know what I mean? So it's pretty sturdy. And what I did is I just ran the power into here and I got a, another plug in case I want to mount something else back here and it just plugs in there. 
it just runs in there so when you're sitting here you can see the fish finder that way you can see what you're going over while you're driving that's why I didn't want to do one that goes over the side is because I wanted to have it down while I was moving and covering water because I do a lot of catfishing so I wanted to make sure that I could use that while catfishing so the motor a little four horse mariner a little outboard short shaft got a little whale tail on it so when I got it um, both these clamps were bent they didn't have a pull cord the starting assembly was torn apart the recoil spring was missing the prop was off of it didn't have the right prop nut I haven't put it on yet but I have the right prop nut I just got a castle nut on there right now I got all that fixed and it ran like a champ then the next time I went to use it the carburetor just started leaking out of every hole so I just went ahead and bought a new carburetor put it on there and now it runs great so I need to get it out and retest after I got all this stuff put on so I can see how everything works I know that's not anyone can just come and cut that with bolt cutters but it makes me feel a little bit better so but yep and then got the Atwoods nav light on the back I'm a big guy I'm 275 I sit in the back of this thing and it's you know it sits in the water pretty well I mean I can I can stand on here I, I move around front to side to side that's another reason why I didn't want to put my fish finder I was thinking about mounting it like, like maybe right here or right here is because I climb over this and I didn't want to be you know knocking it off and that's another reason why I didn't put I could have mounted it here in the corner on its original pedestal same thing I didn't do that was because I didn't want to have bolts in here where water because water you can see water sits there and sits there and I didn't want water just sitting on those screws even though they got 5200 on them, I'm trying to do my best to keep water out of here so another thing I want to do is I've seen people they drill a hole and they put a little kayak drain or a jet ski drain right there to drain the inside of the boat and that's something I'm probably gonna look into doing so because these things get water in them there's I mean brand new boat gets water in it so this is supposed to be a live well I obviously use it for storage. But yeah, that's my boat. That is my pelican. I live on Alvarado Lake. You know, it gets me out, gets me fishing. I think I have about $2,500 in this whole deal. So, not bad. <laughs>